Hi everyone. In the previous video, we have started this digital comparator discussion, and we have seen what is what. What do you mean by a comparator, and how to represent a uh, digital representation of the comparator? And it it is working with two inputs A B and three outputs A less than B, A greater than B, and A equal to B. Suppose we have seen what happens if it is having one bit, and we have seen it for two bit also. Okay, in the two bit comparator, we have taken A as two bit and B as two bit, so A not B not and A one B one, and we have taken the truth table also. Now our task is to get the Boolean expressions for A greater than B, A equal to B, and A less than B. So for that, we should go for the uses of Karnoff map. Okay, so K map for getting For obtaining Boolean expression, Boolean expression for a greater than b, a equal to b, and a less than b. This is our task now. Okay. So first, for k map for a greater than b. So how many bits are there? For getting a greater than b k map output, how many bits are there? Input bits how many? Four bits are there. So four variable k map we should consider. Okay, four variable k map. When we were discussing the subject switch in switching period logic design, there we have studied about these k maps and how to get the Boolean expressions from the k map. For different sizes of the k maps, we have studied. Okay, so a one a not b one b not zero 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 one 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 zero. This is gray code format. Zero 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 one 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 zero. Okay, so from the from this truth table, we can directly represent on the K map zero one two three four. Fourth one is one. Again, uh, eighth one is one. Eight nine twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. So we need to represent these ones in those locations where we have found one, four here, and eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen is also one. This is fourteen. This is fifteen. Okay. Now, first we should go for sixteen ones to get a combination. There is no possible of sixteen ones, and we should go for eight. Eight is also not available. Then we have to go for the four. So four combination is there. Here it is one combination with the four ones. Okay, it is a mapping, and this one can be mapped with this, and again this one and this one can be mapped. So three combinations are there, so that three expressions will be coming out. So a greater than b is equal to the Boolean expression is a one. B one bar. See from this I am writing A one, and here it is B one bar. And again, A one A not B bar plus B one bar B not bar A not. Okay. If you simplify this, you will get A one B one bar plus. If you take A not, what is this? B not, A not, B not bar. See in both terms, A not B not bar is there. A not B not bar. If you take A not B not bar and A not B not bar common from these two, it is simply A one plus B one bar. A one plus B one bar. Okay. And next, next K map. K map is for a less than b or a equal to b. For a equal to b. A one, A not, 
B1, B0, 0001110 and again 00011110 okay so for a equal to b go to the k uh, go to the truth table and map wherever we have ones so we have ones in these locations so we don't have any mapping so that's why we have to write individually all the terms okay so a equal to b is equal to a1 bar a not bar b1 bar b not bar plus a1 bar a not b1 bar b not plus a1 a not b1 b not plus a1 a not bar plus b1 b not bar these are the four ones these are the four ones and corresponding to these four boolean expressions okay and again if you simplify this see if you take common and simplify everything if you have done then you will get a1 x nor b1 a not x nor b not okay and next for a less than b for a less than b so consider again four variable k map a1 a not b1 b not 00011110 00011110 gray code representation now from the two table ones are in these locations and here it is one see we can map now four ones are available here four ones we can map these four and this one can be mapped with this and again this one can be mapped with this so the boolean expression for a less than b is equal to a1 bar b1 plus a1 bar a not bar b not plus a not bar b1 b not that is equal to a1 bar b1 plus a not bar b not if you take common a1 bar plus b1 here if you take a not bar b not common the remaining will be like this okay the same expression can also be represented as a1 bar b1 plus a1 x nor b1 a1 bar b not this is for a less than b okay and similarly this a greater than b expression can also be written in the same x nor format as a1 b1 bar first expression is as it is plus a not b not bar and this can be written as a1 x nor b1 a1 x nor b1 okay now let us go for the vhdl code for this particular two bit comparator vhdl code for two bit comparator see very 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 important in examinations you should this uh, get this type of questions because first you should ask what do you mean by two bit comparator and uh, get the expression boolean expressions for that and the next question may be write a vhdl code for two bit comparator okay so we know very well the vhdl code should start with two statements one is library and the second one is package so library is nothing but library library i triple e library i triple e and the package is 1164.all use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore 1164.all entity 
entity is a place where we represent the input and output ports entity comparator size 2 bit is port of port of the input ports are a comma b input side std underscore logic underscore vector of size 1 down to 0 what is the size of a and b a is of 2 bit and b is of 2 bit that's why we have written combinedly together like this and now the outputs are a greater than b comma a equal to b comma a less than b these are single bit size so out std underscore logic we can use simply x y z also but for better understanding we are writing a greater than b a equal to b and a less than b okay don't use symbols here a greater than b a less than b a equal to b don't use symbols in this particular representation of the ports okay that shows an error it will not work and comparator to bit now coming to architecture here it is a data flow model so architecture some data flow of comparator to bit is begin what do you mean by data flow directly we are writing the program on boolean expression itself so a less than b a greater than b a equal to b whatever the expressions we have got that we can directly represent using basic gate representations a of 1 and not b of 1 sorry and not b of 1 plus means r a 1 x r b of 1 and not b of 0 and a of 0 ok this is for a greater than b and similarly a equal to b equal to a of 1 x nor x nor it is also x nor only x nor b of 1 and a of 0 x nor b of 0 a of 0 x nor b of 0 next a less than b a less than b is equal to not a of 1 and b of 1 or a of 1 x nor b of 1 and not a of 0 and b of 0 ok I am just writing whatever expressions we have got after kmap the same expressions just I am writing in terms of gating format ok and data flow and data flow this is what the VHDL code for 2 bit comparator very very important just we are taking the boolean expressions and the writing in terms of words that is it ok. In the next video we will see 4 bit comparator thank you.